to the Quantifit 2 product demonstration video. My name is Luke Allen, President of OHD. Today I'm here with Mr. Booth Armstrong, our National Sales Manager. We're going to cover a number of topics today. The overview of CMP technology used within the Quantifit 2 machine, information on regulations, features and benefits of our technology, walk through a fit test at the end, and then give you a few next steps after the video. So Booth, start us off with an overview of CMP or controlled negative pressure technology found within the QuantaFit 2? Absolutely. The QuantaFit 2 utilizes a technology called controlled negative pressure to challenge the fit and integrity of a respirator. It's very easy to explain. The QuantaFit 2 will evacuate the air out of a respirator using a scientifically validated breathing rate. It will put that respirator under a negative pressure and hold that negative pressure for a short period of time. Now while it holds that negative pressure, the QuantaFit 2 has a unique ability to identify the exact amount of air that would penetrate the respirator. And there's where it determines the fit and integrity of the mask based off of how much air can penetrate the mask. That's how the controlled negative pressure works, Luke. That's great. So that technology that Booth just explained can be found in global regulations. So OSHA 1910 134 Appendix A, if you're in the U.S. market or other markets that adhere to OSHA, uh, ISO 16975-3, uh, some other HSC standards, CSA, uh, UNI standard in Italy, so on and so forth. So check out your local regulation for con controlled negative pressure uh, to see what the guidance and regulations are there. So now let's transition to some features and benefits of our new system and this technology. QuantaFit 2 features and benefits. Booth, what's the best place to start here? Absolutely. You can really get the dynamic features and benefits of our technology into three major categories, speed, ease, and accuracy. We'll start with speed. Speed, our fit test can be completed in two minutes. You're allowed to retest a fail step. Our calibration and setup process can be completed in 90 seconds. All of those things are unrivaled by any other technology that's recognized by your regulatory bodies globally. So. Yeah, that's a great point on speed and sometimes people look at just protocol speed or testing time for speed, but we'd also want you to remember that we don't have any HEPA filtration required to put onto the respirator for testing. Um, alcohol solutions, if you have smokers, you have to wait 20 to 30 minutes before they can start a fit test on other technologies. Also, there's particle purges required with aerosol technology. All of those things go into the speed of a fit test. Yeah. We eliminate all of that. And the QuantaFit 2 takes speed to another level, introducing the ability to test multiple people simultaneously through the OHD Logic software. And that's really unlimited. It's only limited by the operator's ability to run the, the amount of sh machines. So four, five, six, seven plus machines yeah. can all be run through the software now with the QuantaFit 2 system. So that was speed, Booth, next would be ease. Next would be ease. On ease, we've got some really, really neat features. Let's start off with environmental dependency. Our technology, the QuantaFit 2, controlled negative pressure, does, has no environmental dependency to run our technology or challenge a respirator. You can test anywhere. You can test in a clean room, dirty room, large room, small room, indoors, outdoors. You literally can test and challenge a respirator without any environmental restrictions with our technology. Uh, the next thing that makes our technology ease is consumables. There's no consumables when testing with the QuantaFit 2. You don't ever have to worry about alcohol, alcohol wicks, or any other version of a consumable. Uh, and another thing that makes our technology really easy to manage is it never requires you to probe a respirator. Now you may be saying, what's probing? Probing is when uh, many technologies to challenge the respirator will require you to run a probing tube into the breathing zone of the respirator so it can get an in mask sample. Our technology never requires you to probe the respirator to get the in mask sample. Makes it much easier to challenge the respirator with our technology and that also lends to the consumables of our technology because we don't ever have to worry about any consumables of probing tubes or anything like that. So that adds to that, that feature or benefit of consumables and the lack of any consumables when testing with the QuantaFit 2. Sure. 
Yeah, and a couple things on the on the environmental dependency. So one thing that QuantaFit 2 takes to another level is the addition of a battery pack. Yeah. So not only do we have this ability to test in any environment, dirty, clean air, whatever, but now we can take a unit like you see today. It doesn't have to be connected to an external power supply source. Four plus hours of runtime with your battery. You can go out. You can do testing really anywhere uh, with the new optional battery pack with QuantaFit 2. Uh, a couple other things new to the device are the auto start feature. So instead of having to push a button to start the test sequence or a trigger button, the, the QuantaFit 2 actually guides you through the test with animated instructions and it also has some test uh, failed tests where it, uh, instructions where it guides you through what could have caused the failure as you walk through that fit test process. So the ease of use has really been enhanced with the QuantFit 2 product. So to wrap up, accuracy on the technology. Absolutely. Accuracy is one of my favorite aspects of the QuantaFit 2. It really boils down to our challenge agent. Our technology challenges the fit and integrity of the respirator with air. We talked a little bit about that earlier when we were giving you the description of what controlled negative pressure is all about. At the end of the day, controlled negative pressure, challenging that respirator with air, we're using the most stringent challenge agent of any recognized fit testing technology. Uh, when the QuantaFit 2 puts that respirator under that negative pressure, holds that negative pressure for a short period of time, and has the ability to identify that direct amount of air that penetrates the mass, that direct measurement of leakage, it really produces an unrivaled accuracy in respirator fit testing. Another thing that really makes our technology dynamic is, is our testing process actually requires the test subject to remove the respirator and redon it multiple times through the testing process. It's been proven that one of the, the biggest impacts on a fundamental fit of a respirator is going to be the donning. So as that test subject is going through a controlled negative pressure test, they're getting the opportunity to practice donning that respirator, getting it centered up, the straps tightened appropriately, and that's also going to lend to a really, really accurate fit test with our technology. Yeah, and we were about to see the redon protocol, which Booth just referenced when we walk into our test next. And now we'll move into the demonstration portion uh, with the QuantaFit 2 system. So the QuantaFit 2 can be run one of two ways. First is standalone. So the QuantaFit 2 is enhanced here by adding unlimited data storage where you can store contacts, companies, you can bring that database into the unit, you can export that database with tests, all of that functionality on board. All the animations that we talked about earlier that you see in a minute can be done through standalone testing. But today we'll show you really our OHG Logic software. So the new software allows you to run multiple machines simultaneously. It also allows you to connect through Bluetooth as I am today, so no, no uh, cords connected to the instrument. So in theory, the instrument can be really anywhere and I can connect to it. So what I'm going to do is have Booth jump into a respirator to actually walk into the fit test portion of our video. So in my software, I select Booth put him into the respirator he's in, so today he's in an MSA G1. Now keep in mind the QuantaFit 2 and with controlled negative pressure can test half mask elastomeric uh, all the way up to SCBAs like Booth is in, CBRN respirators like you see today. Uh, we have all of those respirators in our database with the software standalone and through the logic. So once Booth is in and I've sent his information to the unit, he should have his name at the front. He'll confirm that this is him. He'll confirm it's the right mask and size or respirator and then it will allow him to start the test. So now he'll begin the test portion of our, of our read-on protocol. The read-on protocol has five steps. The first step is a face forward, as you see Booth doing here. He'll face forward. As soon as the 30 seconds is over, he'll take a breath and hold it. The auto start will engage on the test. Uh, the next two steps are the bend at the waist step. Booth will bend at the waist. The third step, he'll step up, stand up, shake his head vigorously, talk out loud. And then the last two are the read-ons, which we'll walk through. So this first step, Booth walked through. He gets a passing score. Now the animations will guide him through the step. He'll bend at the waist. Now we're looking for gravity pull on the respirator. So as Booth's bent at the waist for 30 seconds, we're looking at how long the respirator stays to his face well with the seal. Uh, does he have the, 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 the straps tightened well enough? Again, as the operator, I'm watching to make sure that he's done this correctly. I'm not helping with that, but I'm watching to make sure Booth has engaged and used the mask properly. So once that time is up, Booth will take a breath and hold it. The machine will pull the auto pressure against the respirator like it is now. I'm watching all of this through Bluetooth connectivity as Booth's going through the steps. 
Now, if we receive a passing score, Boots going to shake his head vigorously, talk out loud, then he's going to stop. And what we're looking for here is when he takes a breath and holds it, is how well did the respirator reseat to his face? So when he shook his head and talked out loud and talked really loud, how well did it reseat? And at the end of our measurement, we get another passing score. So again, Booth has a very good fit of the respirator. So now he's going to loosen all of his straps, pull the respirator off. He's going to redon the respirator. And as, again, as the operator, I'm making sure that Booth's been properly trained. This is a very key feature of our technology. No other technology in the world can you take the respirator off during a fit test, redon it to get a challenge on the respirator. So now I'm going to watch this pressure pull. Again, a good graph right now. Booth's going to be fitting well in the respirator. It looks like he's redonned it properly. So as the operator, that's, that's a good sign. Again, the fifth step, another read-on, and then we're all done. So the fifth step is a, a final read-on of the respirator. We're challenging the respirator three times with donning, the initial test, and then these two read-ons at the end. So when Booth's ready, pulls a breath and holds it. The machine will pull the pressure against the respirator. Again, we're watching to make sure that all of this is fitting well and sealing to his face. So now we have a pass score here. Uh, Booth should see a signature option on his screen, which is a unique feature to QuantaFit 2 that no one else does in the world. Rather than having to print a sheet off and sign it, Booth can now sign at the end of a test right on the screen. It then comes into my software and I can save this test as signed uh, here. So that's a full fit test with the Redon protocol, all passes. I'm going to ask Booth to get back into the respirator really quickly. We want to show you a couple of examples of a leak. So let me select you again, Booth, and put you into the machine. And once I do this through Bluetooth, it takes just a real quick second to come across. So Booth, I'm going to get you to select yourself again once it pops through, and then we'll jump into a test. So you've seen what a good graph looks like. It pulls to the pressure. There's no leakage at all through the respirator. So now we're going to show a couple of examples of leaks. So the first thing we'll do is, Booth, if you want to show us a large leak, we will um, we'll look at that. So he'll, Booth will put his finger in his, in his mask. He'll take a breath and hold it. The machine is going to pull a pressure, but it's pulling too much leak into the respirator. So now we get a failure. So again, that's one example of the accuracy of the technology, but let's go a little smaller. So now Booth's going to put in a paper clip, which is a very small leak source, and we're going to see if the technology can actually identify this leak uh, during the fit test. So when Booth takes a breath and holds it, we're going to have a different graph because it's a smaller leak. So now the technology is, is able to pull a pressure, but it's going to fail the test at the end because of the leak into the respirator. So that is the accuracy that you'll see. So Booth, pull that out. Let's do one more test without this uh, leak source in so we can see the accuracy of the technology. So now we have a, a much better graph that you've seen like you saw in the first five steps. Pulls the pressure, it's measuring leak, um, and there is no leak source this time in the test. Perfect job. Thank you, Booth. So that's a little bit of the technology and the accuracy of the system with QuantaFit 2. One other thing I didn't mention is the troubleshooting during the test. So in a failed step, the graph has a specific signature. Those troubleshooting guidances are on the screen of the instrument to where you can see different graphs to really understand why did I fail. All of that is updates with the new QuantaFit 2. Thank you for joining us today for the QuantaFit 2 demonstration video. We hope this was helpful and beneficial. Booth, what are some good next steps? Next step would be visit our website, ohdglobal.com. There you can get more information on the QuantaFit 2. You can also book a time to get a specific demonstration to learn about how this technology could help your respiratory protection program. We would love to do that on-site or virtually, and that all can be booked on our website. Thank you. Thank you.